After his victory at the Battle of Hastings, William became king. The lands of the Saxon lords were confiscated and given to Norman noblemen. William was keen to know exactly what his new kingdom contained, so he had a list drawn up of every city, town, village and hamlet, the people who lived there and the livestock they owned. This list became known as the Doomsday Book. The Conqueror was succeeded by his son, William II. Although he was an excellent soldier and gained control of Normandy and France from his elder brother Robert, he was hugely unpopular in England. In 1100 he was hunted in the New Forest when he was killed by an arrow. His body was taken to Winchester and buried directly below the main tower in the cathedral. The following year the tower collapsed on his tomb. William had no children, but as soon as his brother Henry heard the news of his death, he marched on Winchester and seized the royal treasury there. He was later crowned king. The other claimant to the throne was his elder brother Robert, who had inherited Normandy when William the Conqueror died. William was on a crusade in the Holy Land when William II was killed. When he returned, his army was defeated by Henry in 1106. Henry was a particularly harsh, strict, methodical man, held in awe by his subjects, but he was wise and well-educated and governed England extremely well. When Henry died, the true heir to their throne was his daughter Matilda, but it was Henry's nephew who was crowned king, because some of the powerful barons did not want to be ruled by a woman. In 1138, Matilda's husband, Geoffrey of Anjou, invaded Stephen's territories in Normandy. In 1139, Stephen's troops captured Matilda. The king refused to have her imprisoned as he thought it would be unchivalrous. Matilda had no such scruples when two years later her troops captured Stephen. Matilda travelled to London for her coronation. She was never crowned queen. Her high and mighty ways upset so many people that when Stephen's troops advanced on the capital, Londoners took up arms and drove Matilda out. The civil war lapsed into stalemate in 1144 after Geoffrey of Anjou invaded Normandy and was proclaimed duke. The powerful English barons, many of whom held lands in Normandy, were reluctant to offend new duke or his wife, and they persuaded Stephen to declare Matilda's son Henry as heir to the throne. Henry was rough, tough and clever, the complete opposite of Stephen. He forced the Scots out of England and invaded North Wales. Henry's wife, Eleanor of Aquitaine, was a proud, fiery woman who came to dislike her husband so much that in 1173 she encouraged two of her sons, Henry and Richard, to take up arms against him. A truce of sorts was reached, but Henry's refusal to let his sons share in his power eventually infuriated Richard and his brother John. In 1188, when King Philip of France declared war on Henry, the two English princes joined forces with him. Henry died shortly afterwards, a broken-hearted man.